Welcome to Tech Notice. In this video, you're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different lighting setups and how could you achieve them. Hopefully, this will give you some creative ideas and tips how you can make your lighting setups different and your videos look different. So, let's get into it. This is lighting setup one. And I also encourage you to stay till the end of the video because I've got one bonus setup for you if you wanna check that out. So here you can see how the lights are set up. So the key light is about four or five o'clock compared to the camera and then 45 degrees up. And then we're gonna put a little band or spotlight in the back, even a little hair light in the back. So you can see the difference, what it makes. So you can see on the left side, there's just the tiny little kick, but I think it adds a little bit, separates you from the background and that's it really. I like uh, that it's very soft lighting coming, the key light and gives you like a triangle on your left cheek or right cheek. Also, if you're wondering what lights or things I'm using, then I'm gonna leave everything in the description so you can check them out yourself. So setting up for the second lighting setup is very easy. I'm using just a little reflector to add a fill on the left side, you know, looking from camera angle, left side of the uh, face to give a little bit of a fill so there's not that much contrast in the face. And this is lighting setup number two. Just the bounce or the reflector wasn't enough. There wasn't enough light bouncing on the reflector. So I added a light on top of the reflector to kind of put a little bit more bounce on there. So I'm using this Viltrux LED, I'll leave it in the description as well if you wanna check it out which one I'm using. But it just adds a little bit more film on the left side of the face, but I'm still getting the triangle and the Rembrandt lighting, a bit more contrast, but just fills it a bit more so it's not as harsh lighting setup. And the key light in the back is a bit stronger as well. So setting up for this one is you want to get the key light on top of the subject. So I'm putting, as you can see, on top of the person exactly above and I would call it like a, you know, investigation setup. And this is lighting setup number three. And that's just one light setup. You can add a hair light in the back, but I didn't just to kind of give a bit more mood in it and things like that. The light I'm using on this setup, the main key light is um, Falconize RX 18TD and I've got a review on my channel so if you want to check it out I'm going to leave the link up in the corner there as well. But that's the main, it's really nice and soft, it's 18 inches wide, it's like a flex light as well, you can roll it up really nice. Um, but that's the setup really. You get the bit like darker moody eyes, I can show you here that you can have like a little key light in the back as well here. but. I like it without it to add a bit more contrast and mood to it. Now here's the different setup. Now we're getting a bit more flat lighting. So the light is exactly like six o'clock on top of the camera, maybe 60 degrees angle. So this is lighting setup number four. So shining exactly flat on the face, but then there's two lights on the left and right side of the frame hitting the both sides of the back of me. So I'm getting a separation from the background, but also getting this nice glow on the side of the frame. So if you can see like the top right and top left corner of the frame, you get this nice kind of yellow glow of the flat frame. I've also set the back lights on 3300 Kelvin, and then the key light is around 5000 Kelvin so that the back hair light is a bit more golden, so you get this gold trim around you, but then still white daylight type of um, key light in front of your face. Now this setup took the longest time to set up because the main point over here is to put the light source underneath you, so the light is coming kind of below you, but to have the light source as big as possible and as diffused as possible as well. So if you can use as big of a diffuser or as a big of a light source on the bottom as possible, otherwise it just looks like you're telling scary stories, you know, 
holding a torch underneath but basically it's just a two light setup and i've got one led shining through the diffuser underneath me light source coming up and then a hair light in the back over there shining on my hair and separating me from the background this is more like a i would call this like a science scene or something like that you know or maybe something you'd see in Iron Man or where like a scientist are looking on a table that shines kind of the light and lighting them from below that type of lighting this lighting setup I would call the diagonal setup you can set it up both ways but in here the main key light is around seven or eight o'clock and then we're adding a grid onto it because we don't want too much of it splashing onto the background to keep the background still dark but lighting the side of the face eye level and then the hair light is opposite around one or two o'clock diagonally then lighting up the hair so you're getting this kind of half lit person but it's still separated from the background through the hair light If you're thinking these lighting setups, I'm using really expensive lights. I'm actually not. I'm really happy with the spotlight in the back. It's like an Aperture 120D copy. I've got a review coming out on the channel, so stay tuned for that. But all of these setups, they're kind of like mid-budget or low-budget equipment. So if you want to check it out, um, I'll leave all of them in the description. This lighting setup, I would call the Mohawk lighting setup because it just leaves like a dark strip or a darker strip in the middle of your face so you've got this big hair light that kind of separates you from the background and then these two i would call them maybe key lights shining from both 45 degree angles from the camera so let's say around four o'clock and about eight o'clock from the camera and lighting up both sides of the face but not in the middle of the face so lighting the sides of the person or the subject and then in the middle of the face there's this darker area but your hair in the back is really nice lilit showing here like how it's set up around 45 degrees shining exactly not in the middle but on the sides shining onto me and lighting up the sides of me but then leaving a dark strip in the middle of the face This lighting setup might look very similar to the diagonal setup, but actually there is a difference. The main key light is around nine o'clock, so lighting exactly from the side, so you're getting like half lit a person. And I've had a little accent still keeping it around, you know, one or two o'clock, the hair light or the side, filling the side, so I'm not actually disappearing in the background, but it's just half lit person uh, here's some picture samples of my own willy do we later on took some pictures of him and it looked absolutely awesome half person lit up added some rgb to it as well to make it a bit more interesting i think this is probably one of my favorite setups this lighting setup is good to use when you have to accent the contrast of the character or the story where a character for example has to choose between good or evil or something like that because it's very much split half you know light and dark in the middle of his face So this over here is a setup where you can't show the character, for example, the interview's face, where they're gonna have to be a silhouette. So this is the same grade I'm using on the, on the other lighting setups. But as you can see, I can still see a little bit of my face. So what I would do is take the shadows down even more and accent the grade a bit more like this, something like this. But you can also get the person or the subject to kind of look to the side so you can get a bit more of the mouth outline and seeing them actually speak so basically just lighting the background as much as possible and no light in the face usually it's best if you have the biggest light source in the back and lighting the whole back very 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 light and then the subject is very dark but you can still see them speaking so this is where you have to hide the identity so now we're entering into the rgb world a little bit so we have instilled the rembrandt lighting so the key light is around four o'clock and then 45 degrees up angle giving you a nice triangle on the left cheek but then there is also a fill light that is rgb on the side and filling you with 
blue light or whatever color you want. Also the hair light in the back is spotlight separating you a little bit from the background. So this is a setup that doesn't always fit you know your story but just accenting RGB something is something that's come more in the game in the later days and just adds a bit more interest onto the look. So I like this a lot but this doesn't always work so you have to really think you know does it really work with the lighting setup or this you know interview setup or whatever movie setup you're doing if it does it looks awesome as you can see the key light and the fill light are the same but we're changing everything else now this is the bonus lighting setup and i think this is quite bonkers but the point of this is that don't forget the background you can always light the background differently at the moment i've got all these different rgb lights going like mental and cycling through these different colors that's just to show you that if you want to color the whole background one color for example or another color you can do that so don't forget to do that i've got this main key light coming over this side rembrandt we've got a fill of another rgb on this side so giving like a bit of an interesting so this would be maybe like i don't know a nightclub interview setup or like a bar Oh, welcome, you know, come and join our this or maybe youth club or something like that. I hope you got some interesting ideas from these lighting setups and I hope this was helpful for you. So which one was your favorite lighting setup? Which one did you think, do you know what, I like that one the most? Leave a comment below, I'm gonna meet you in there, so I'd love to check out which one was your favorite. If you were new here, consider subscribing because more content like this is coming out every single week. So thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, it actually makes a difference. And I'll see you soon. Adios.